Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a different business to help share tips and advice about their industry. And today I have Michelle. And Michelle, welcome to the show. Thanks, Jeff. Sure. And I want you to explain to everybody a little bit about yourself. Absolutely. I am Michelle Ketchum and I am the owner and broker in charge of Acorn and Oak Property Management. We are a full service property management firm serving the Triangle area. Okay. So what are some important things to consider when someone is uh, buying an investment property here in the Triangle? Great question, Jeff. Um, you know, the biggest thing in real estate really is location. So, um, so many people are are working in RTP and maybe their spouse isn't sure where they're going to be working yet. So I always recommend um, properties along the 40 corridor. If you can find a, a property there, they, they generally rent really quickly um, and they're just, it's a better location for a lot of people to experience different parts of the triangle, um, kind of see which area they like the best before buying a house. Um, what else? Uh, fenced in yards. Actually, so many of our tenants have pets. Probably 70% of our tenants have pets. So if you have a property that has a yard that is fenced in or, or can easily be fenced in, that's definitely um, a, a valuable piece to a property. Uh, people want to put their pets or their children in, in an enclosed area. Um, and also, the you know another great thing to do when you before you buy that property is really check out comps in the area to make sure that you know you're going to get what you need to make that property work as an investment. That's that's a definite definite part of of um, you know making sure it's gonna be a great investment. Okay. So I know when buying a house it's a good idea to buy a house with three bedrooms if you can because it's easier easier to sell. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with rental properties, do they rent faster? Yeah, they do. Uh, big demographic of ours is is young professionals and maybe a, a couple that's getting ready to start a family. So three bedrooms, two and a half baths seems to be the magic number. Um, they, they rent fast, they rent easily, and it's really at that price point that a lot of people are willing to pay for, you know, you get too small or, or too big, they're a little bit harder to, to rent, but not impossible. Um, um, but to cover uh, a bigger, you know, pool of people, that three bedroom, two and a half bath is going to be um, going to be key. Okay. Say if anybody out there is watching this and they just bought their property, what are some tips you can give them uh, to help get a renter quickly? Yeah. Well, you want to have your property as show ready um, as as possible before you actually start bringing people in. Um, so make sure you're getting your painting done, your cleaning done, any repairs that need to be done. People want to see what they're actually going to move into. They don't want to have to imagine what it's going to look like. Um, so just making sure that the property is is ready to go before you start showing is always important. Another thing that would be definite when uh, getting your property ready is making sure you take great pictures of it. Um, you want to make sure that your property stands out and pops on, on the internet because there's so much competition out there. You need to have good pictures to really show what, what your property has to offer someone. Okay, great. So once you find somebody that is interested, what are some mm -hmm. things you can do to... Um make sure that they're going to be a good tenant. Yeah, this is the most important part of, of the process, really, is, is selecting the, the best tenant that you can for your property. Um, you definitely need to make sure that you're running good background checks. So look at things like credit score, criminal history, eviction history. Um, you can get a, a landlord um, reference if, if, they've, if they're currently renting. Um, you know, make sure you're getting check stubs and income and employment verification um, just to really, you know, see what this person is about because you, you really need to look at the, the numbers on these things. Um, and an, another thing to do is if, if the person does look a little bit risky, um, you know, it's been a hard economy the last few years. A lot of people with bad credit doesn't mean they're going to be a bad tenant, but do some things to offset that risk, which would be, you know, collecting a larger security deposit or um, getting a co-signer for that tenant to really offset some of that that risk okay. for them. Great. Well, thank you for the information. Yeah. I appreciate you coming in. Yeah. And any of you out there that are interested in learning more about Michelle and her company, please check out the website at the end of this video. And if you want to continue the conversation online, please fill out the box below this video. That's all we have for this week. Until next time, take care.